Hello, hello. Welcome here to my channel. My name is Nikki and today I have for you a little sketchbook flip tour video here. This sketchbook I've been working on um, in 2022. I started it in May and finished it up in December. Most of this I used during the October art challenge. So I posted little videos of that all through the month of October. So it's possible you've seen, but some of it I have not shared yet. The sketchbook itself is a um, Strathmore watercolor sketchbook in this landscape size. It's a soft cover. I believe I got this from a watercolor snacks box. To have a few stickers here on the front and yeah, let's get into it. So I didn't do anything in my first couple pages because they're always just kind of awkward. So the first page I have here is just, this was a swatch I did for that, the same art snacks uh, or watercolor snacks box here that I got the sketchbook in. It, it, it was this little uh, Van Gogh pocket box here and the colors were really awesome. They're all very bright and vivid and a lot of fun to use. And then a couple Faber-Castell markers. And so I just did a quick little sketch and painting of this little froggy guy here. Um, just kind of get started working with it. These pages, I did some landscapes and these are using those same paints. I just blended them to make the colors a lot more muted and, and natural. So I did a couple of landscapes here and then later I went back in with colored pencil and added some more layers and detail with that, just kind of playing around. This piece is another one of those, just I started with those watercolors and then I came back and added a little bit of colored pencils in. I left room here because I planned to write little notes about it and then I just never did. This was a class I did on Sketchy on um, contour hatching and it was just with some watercolor and ink. Portraits are something that I want to work on and get better on. Um, I definitely need some work. My eyes aren't quite even here, but it was, it was fun practicing and it's something I plan on still working on in the new year. Here I just have a couple quick little sketch doodles. These were inspired by one of my Disney art books that I I have and I just find those books very inspiring the different artworks so these were I forget which one this was but I was just testing out some little watercolor markers this page this one's actually my favorite piece in this whole sketchbook and it's just a watercolor flamingo I just really like how it turned out I like the contrast of the, the light pink with the dark green background so I'm really happy with that one this was another sketchy class on the cross, or not cross, but uh, contour hatching. And this one was with gouache. And again, it, it was a lot of fun learning a little bit about gouache. This kind of style I really like. I want to do some more, explore with it a little bit more. And again, my eyes are very uneven in this picture. So just want to continue working on portraits and trying to get better at drawing faces in general. And then this was the beginning of my October art challenge. And I didn't use ink for a lot of them. I kind of just did a blend of different things. And yeah, so this one was just some watercolor and ink. I followed the Inkwood, I believe it was, art props um, for October. So, and I, I don't remember what all of them were this time. I think this one was Dragonfly. So I just kept it really simple and was pretty happy with that one. Here was a crystal and so I did like a crystal ball with a face in it. Again, just really need to work on my faces a little bit more. Um, but it was fun playing with the uh, watercolors and colored pencils and such. This one was for Mir and I think I just did all colored pencils in this one with the, the Snow White Witch just trying to get into the routine of making a little bit of art every day in October. This one I was playing with some gouache and I just was doing some like ivy leaves and I really I haven't played much with gouache but I 
tended to reach for it a lot in October, which was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed experimenting with it and getting a feel for how gouache worked. So a lot of them are just, you know, really simple. This one was just a, a quick pattern of leaves. Here I went back to my watercolors, and just did a little graveyard kind of scene. Here I did um, Edward Scissorhands with some liquid inks and this ink, I think it, I had had it for a long time and it ended up having a lot of sediment in the bottom and um, which gave it this interesting texture. I don't think the ink is meant to do that, but because it was old, it kind of um, did that effect, which I was okay with. This one was a fox and I did like watercolor and then later I went back in with colored pencil. Um, and this is one that after the challenge was over, after October was done, I went back and added a little bit into some of the background and filled in some of the pages a little bit more when I had time. A little lantern here that I did with some ink and watercolor. It might be all ink. This might be a uh, liquid ink that I did that one with. I can't really remember now. A uh, little castle sketch. I really like these washes of watercolor with a lot of ink work and just getting some bright, bold colors. Um, you know, that's, that's a lot of fun for me. So that's another thing I want to experiment and play a little bit more with. Here I did some mushrooms in gouache and I just took a, one of those Stabilo pencils um, and did an outline that I then fanned out with water and I really like the way that turned out. Little wolf silhouette howling at the moon here. That was in, I think the background's watercolor and then this is liquid ink. The uh, Hocus Pocus book. I, Halloween, I love watching Hocus Pocus. It's kind of something I've done for years. And this last year I was excited for Hocus Pocus 2 to come out. And I just really, um, I love this this book and that movie. It's a lot of fun. Little acorn pattern. Um, this was done with gouache again, just kind of playing with it, figuring out how to get the consistency right on gouache. The Wicked Witches sandals. I think this prompt was slippers. And um, so I had this idea of doing uh, the Wicked Witch from Wizard of Oz after the house fell on her for her slippers. And yeah, this one, I'm not too happy with it. Um, I think it could have been a lot better, but it was, again, just getting into doing a little bit of art every day. So um, just trying to stick with it. That's what the October project's all about. Uh, for this one, I did this death moth and again, just feeling very Halloween inspired. So I made it with traditional Halloween colors. Um, this one, I liked a little bonsai tree in watercolor and just layering up the different colors. Originally, I thought I was going to outline it in pen and then I decided not to. And now I'm looking at it and I feel like it should be outlined in pen again. So I don't know, I may or may not go back and add to this one. We'll see. Part of me is just glad to be done with this sketchbook and want to move on to the next one because I have a ton. A little storm scene here with, I think this one was gouache mostly. I may have used a little bit of watercolor in the background, but again, just trying to play with um, the gouache and getting used to how, what thickness to make with it because I haven't done a lot with gouache. So again, just practicing, practicing. For this one, I think the prompt was tea or something. And so I made this little teacup and I kind of on his tag kind of did a little, it reminded me of the Star Wars logo. So, or the rebel symbol from Star Wars. So I decided to go back and add a few little Star Wars sketches and some stars and stuff on top of it. This was another one where I just did the sketch in October and then went back later and filled in some of the spaces around it on the page. That one's another one from October. This one was my least favorite. I'm like, I, I hate that one. Um, here I have this little baddie guy hanging from a branch and I was playing with some handmade watercolors that I had purchased. And then later I went in and added some color 
with these little circles and stuff. I think that was a Jane Davenport, um, one of those mermaid markers. And I've had those, I need to play with those a little bit more too. And I'm not, I don't really, the colors kind of clash, but you know, it was all just playtime, which is what sketchbooks are supposed to be about. So that's really what this one was for me. So I'm happy, I'm happy with it for that reason. I'm here, I made a little starfish. I really like how this one turned out. Um, this was another one again that I came, I did the starfish in October and then I think sometime in November I went and I wanted to fill in some of the white space and so I just did a watercolor pencil here and I drew some of these stars and then fanned out the color a little bit and I really like the way that those turned out. So that one was, that was fun. This one, I can't remember, what was this, journal or something I think was the prompt? I, I don't remember exactly. So I did the Tom Riddle's diary from Harry Potter with the basilisk thing, stabbing through it and all the black ink oozing out of it. And again, just filling up white space around it. Some little jam jars, some little raspberries I added later. My little squid, I kind of liked how this guy turned out. I was pretty happy with him. And this was using some more of those handmade watercolors. Those are a lot of fun to play with. Uh, little honeybee sketch in, what did I use here? I think some watercolor, color pencil, and some ink. Oh, I know, I used a brown ink pen for this one. That one was, was, was different about him. This guy, I really like how this one turned out too. I just did, I think it was candle was the prompt. I think, I'm not even sure. I should have written them down. But, so I just, I like the idea of having the little skull as a candle holder, kind of spooky for, for Halloween. And again, this is just the Stabilo pen that I did the outline in and then fanned out with some water after I was finished. Oh. Leave it this way. Uh, dagger, so I just love poison apples, the drippiness of them, they're, they're fun. So I have here just a poison apple with a little dagger sticking through them. This one's tower, and again, just playing with some gouache again. So most of this is gouache. I think I went over a little bit in colored pencil and added a few details after. Here I was trying to do like a zombie type deer. Didn't really turn out how I'd hoped, but it, it was still fun to work on. This one was day 30 and I just did a doorknob. I really like the way the colors turned out on this. And this is just watercolors. I just would layer colors on. I'd, I put some bright colors on the first layer and let it dry and then put some more muted colors on top of it. And I really like the way the colors ended up blending on the page by doing that technique. So I was pretty happy with that one. And then this one was the final day of October. I just did a simple little wreath with some Happy Halloween wording on it. And I was just really glad to be done with it because after a full month of drawing and like I mentioned before, I was trying to record those and post those and editing videos and stuff. It was exhausting. So I was just glad to be done for a while. On this page, I had practiced some of my happy Halloween lettering on this page at first. And then afterwards, I just covered it up and did this pumpkin. Here, I was swatching out some more paints from a different watercolor snacks box. This one was their fall box and it had a bunch of core watercolors, which I love core. Although I have to admit, I'm not sure that there's any watercolors that I really dislike. Um, gotta think about that. No, I, I guess there are some, but no, I've, I've been happy with all the ones I got in the watercolor snacks um, boxes. So yeah, I just figured I'd do a little bit something a little bit different and do some mushrooms as my swashes. Swatches. Swashes? Swatches. A uh, giraffe watercolor with some green drippies in the background. I really love watching watercolor just run and flow. And I enjoy 
drawing giraffes. So that's all that one was. And then for my last pages, I did this at the end of December. I was playing with some masking fluids here. So I just drew some snowflakes and then painted some bright colors on and then just took the masking fluid off for that one. Here, this was another one I kind of did more of that. I drew these little holly leaves with the masking fluid and I had one of those, it was a pen, the masking fluid pen. And I think I got it a little bit thin or something. I know I had trouble getting all the masking fluid off of this one. That's why some areas are still kind of dark, but I wasn't gonna worry about it. I was just trying to fill the page, get this sketchbook done. So yeah, just playing around and that is it. So I've already been started working in some new sketchbooks for this year. And then of course I still have a ton that are still in progress because I tend to work in multiple books at the same time because they're just fun. I just like them, like them all, like the different papers and different sizes and stuff. So anyways, Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like or subscribe. It really helps me out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.